there, hope you are doing well today. I have with me another book that I'm going to read and a little activity afterwards for you to do if you would like. Um, this is the fourth book I've read to you and all of our books have been focusing on creating your own happiness and not necessarily reacting to what's going on with the coronavirus and how the world has been changing in kind of more negative ways. We're getting bored. We're seeing people with masks on. We aren't going to school and seeing our friends and our teachers. Um, a lot of changes that we may not be happy about. So I've been challenging you to create your own little moments of happiness and to find joy in the things that you can control, the things um, that you have at your own house, um, and to see if you lead into that, if you can have some joy brought to your day, despite what's going on. And so, the first three books that I read were all fiction books. So they were all kind of make-believe books. Even though they had a really great story that we applied to our life, um, they were all made up. But this book that I have is a nonfiction book. So it is a book that shares facts, that it shares information. Um, up at the top, it says social studies. And that is another reason why I love my job is because of all of the other subjects that we learn about in school, math and reading and science and social studies, all relate back to how we can improve ourselves and how we can tap into our emotions and our behavior um, and do cool things. So this is a nonfiction book. It is called, Who Are You? Um, and this book is going to talk about culture and identity. Um, and it's also going to talk about different countries. At the corner of the pages, there's a flag. There it is. There's a different flag representing a different country. And so this book goes through um, different kiddos and they share about a little, well, they share about their identity, about who they are. Um, and then our book will ask, who are you? And that's going to tie into our activity that I have for us today. So here is our book today, Who Are You? It is by John Serrano. The book is kind of small, so I'll have to bring the pictures really close up to the camera for you to see them. I want to know what I was like as a baby. These photos show how I looked when I was a baby. Many people wanted to hold me. So this, these two pages talk about a girl that's from the United States. China. I asked my grandma to tell me about when I was a baby. My grandma helps me learn about myself. My grandma said she gave me gold gifts. My dad showed me a basket. I picked a coin from the basket when I was one. My dad also showed me this photo. I was one when my uncle took this photo, and she is from Malta. I like to look at photos of myself as a baby. Many people gave me gifts and I picked one. My family had a party and ate special foods. Many people came to my party. And he is from South Korea. Greece. Look at these photos. You can see how I look now. You can also see how I looked as a baby. I have the same name as my grandpa. My aunt gave me these coins. She also gave me a blue stone. This photo shows how I look now. I am happy. I am healthy too. My mom gave me this photo. She said I was a healthy baby. My family had a party because I was healthy. And she's from Turkey.
My name means happy. Do you think my name is right for me? Here I am with my brothers and sisters. This photo shows how I looked the day my parents gave me my name. I was asleep when my dad took this photo. And that is the flag from India. Now you know a little bit who we are. Who are you? So, this was a short book. There were only a couple pages in it. Um, but I really liked this book because it talks about family and it talks about who we are and how our families played a role in that, especially when we were babies. Our book talked about how your parents gave you a name and how maybe you had pictures taken of yourself and there were parties for you when you were younger um, and maybe the, what kind of gifts that you got when you were a baby. So my activity for you today is to find a baby picture of yourself or maybe just a picture of you when you were little, like when you were a toddler or two, three or four, when you were in preschool and find one of those pictures and ask someone in your family a little bit about you in that picture. Because when we're that little, we have no idea what we were like when we were that young. We don't remember what our first word was. We don't remember taking our first steps. We don't remember what we liked, what we didn't like. Um, we were just too young and that was such a long time ago. But our family members do. Our grandmas and our grandpas and our aunts and uncles and moms and dads, they do remember what we were like and they remember what it was like raising us and being a part of our life. So what I want you to do is I want you to find that picture and I want you to go to someone in your family and ask them about that picture. Ask them about, you know, what you were like at that age and what you were into. Ask them about what was going on in that photo so you can learn a little bit more about yourself. So. I dug up this picture frame and I liked this picture frame because it's just like a, it reminds me of a dollhouse, like all of the pastel colors and that kind of thing. And in this picture frame are three pictures. Um, and they're all pictures of my brother and I when we were younger. I have an older brother and I am a lot younger than he is, I'm younger by a couple of years. Um, and I can tell that it's me and my brother, but I don't really know anything else besides that. Here's a picture of us at the beach, but I don't know what beach it was. I don't know how old I was. I have no idea what happened. Um, here's another picture of us somewhere, you know, building a sand castle and there's water in the background. I have no idea. I don't know if I like to play with sand, if I could swim, if I was a good swimmer, I have absolutely no idea. And so um, I'm excited to ask my family a little bit more about what I was like when I was younger, to see if I was a lot different than I am now, to see if I'm the same, if I still like the same foods or not, just little things like that. Um, but I'm also excited to just see how much I've grown, to see not just grown in height, um, but just to see how much I've grown with the things that I couldn't do back then and the things that I can do now. Um, and it always makes us feel good whenever we accomplish something. You know, when you couldn't ride your bike when you were younger, but now you can ride so, so fast and without training wheels that you're just a pro. It'll make you feel good at how far you've come and you don't even realize it because you don't even know what you were like and what you could and couldn't do when you were that young. If you don't have a photo of you when you were younger, one thing that our book talked about is how our names have a meaning. How, uh, you know, some of your names may mean something. Um, maybe you were named after someone else in your family. Or, you know, maybe your mom and dad just really, really liked the name and they decided to name you that name when you were a baby. And so find out why your family gave that certain name to you. Why did they name you the name that they did? Um, so 
because we're all a little bored and because we've all been in the same house with the same people, with the same family members, we can start, maybe you're getting on their nerves a little bit, maybe they're getting on your nerves a little bit, and you just wish that you could see some other people and connect with them. I know I feel that way. But I really, really wanna take this time to appreciate my family and to get to have these conversations with them, to find out what I was like when I was a baby and how far I've come, and to see what they were like when I was a baby, how far they've come too. So take this time, find a baby picture, and try to reconnect with your family. Chances are, and it's my hope, that you will feel encouraged when you learn a little bit more about yourself and how far you've come. So, have a good day. Bye.